Good morning, boys and girls. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take what we learned about lines, line segments, rays, and the different types of lines, and learn how to identify them in a figure. So right here in this picture here, we have a figure. Now it's labeled as figure F, if you can see here in the bottom. All figures usually are given a name, figure F, figure A, figure B, it doesn't matter the letter, but it just identifies the figure. And a figure is a bunch of different lines or line segments, um, points all put together to make one specific picture. So here we have a figure. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the different um, things that we see in here um, as far as whether they're lines, right angles, two angles, perpendicular lines, parallel lines, whatever we see we're going to identify. So here we have that same exact figure on that first page, okay? It's just a little smaller on this page because I wanted to put some problems here and I added a couple of my own. I got this from your book, but I added a couple of my own. So the first question here, it says name a ray. Okay, so a ray. Now, if you remember, a ray has an arrow going one direction only. Now, so if we were to look here on our figure, we could say that BK is a ray because it starts at the B, ends with the K. I couldn't say JK is because it's got arrows on both sides. I could see BA is a ray. I could say RP is a ray. I could say RC is a ray and I could say RQ is a ray. I couldn't say BR is a ray because those ends with segments. Um, so, I have many options, but I, I, I only can use the ones that have an endpoint at the one end and an arrow at the other. So it only says to name one. So I'm gonna just pick one. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna do A, B, A. So if you remember when we write our, um, when we write our answers in rays, the endpoint has is the only way we can write it. So I'm gonna do an arrow for a ray, a little arrow, there's no endpoints on my little symbol, and I'm gonna do BA. I can't do AB because it starts with the point the point the B and goes to the A. So there's my there's my answer for name ray B A. So the next question says name an obtuse angle. Now if you remember, obtuse angles are angles that are greater than right angles that means they have a degree of 91 degrees to up to 179 degrees so if i'm looking on my finger uh, i see a lot of different angles i'm just gonna i'm gonna highlight a little bit so you can see where i'm talking about so i see an angle here 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 and I see an angle here, oh, and I see one here and here. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different angles in this figure. Now, I only need to name one that is obtuse. So one that is greater than a right angle, but less than a straight. So if you remember, a right angle has that 90 degree perfect square edge and it usually is rep you'll you'll see um a little square here but you you only need to see one of these if this is 90 degrees i know that this is 90 degrees and then this side is 90 degrees and this side is 90 degrees so here i have one two three four right angles so none of these will work but if i'm looking at some of my other angles an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees and an acute angle is smaller so if i look at this i have big angles here and I have small angles here. So I have two options. I could see either this angle, A, B, K, or angle J, B, um, A, B, R. So that could be my, those could be my two angles. Um, I, you could also say it's J, J, B, C too, though that could also be the angle. I'm just gonna go ahead and label this one right here. This is obtuse, it's greater than 90 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My, if you recall, my angle symbol is just a little angle, and A, B, K. Now I could have done K, B, K, 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 B, A, or angle B, but I just did 
doesn't doesn't matter as, as long as they're all connecting a connects to b and b connects to k all right oh i did that in the wrong spot hold on let me do it in the right spot angle a b k and then let me erase this right here all right so here on number 12 we have to name a line a line there's lots of lines i see one two three different lines now remember a line is going to have an arrow on both sides so i'm just going to pick one now if you remember my symbol for line is a little line just like this and i'm gonna pick let's see i'm gonna go ahead and pick line j um jk i don't need to include the middle one that's a connecting point so all i have to do is call it line jk or i can do kj i can go either way so i'll do that just so you can see that i can do but i can do k j okay now the next question says name a line segment now the big thing about the line segments is they don't have arrows on both sides so i'm kind of limited over here is where there's a line segment um why don't you pause the video for a second and see if you can find it all right did you find it if you didn't let me show you line segments i'm gonna go from here i'm gonna highlight again so you can see a line segment is going to go from here to here because it has two endpoints on it, both ends. It's a part of a line. It has a start and, a, and an end. It doesn't go on forever. It doesn't have arrows right there. I wouldn't be able to do A, C because those have arrows. So I can do B, R, or R, B. So it's my only choice for a line segment there. Line segment. Oops, my pen. I get my pen out. My line segment is just a little line. And then it's B, R. Or... Again, you only have to write one of these. I could have done RB. You only have to do one of these, but I just wanted to show you. All right, so number 14, right angle. We already pointed out, we know we have four right angles. So I have my choice between this angle, this angle, this angle, or this angle. I'm just gonna go with the obvious one right here on the top. I'm gonna do PRC. So angle PRC. Now the last question is asking us to do an acute angle. Again, we've already identified some of the smaller angles. We said these are the big angles. These ones are the smaller ones. They're less than a right angle. Um, they're less than 90 degrees. Um, so I have two choices. I'm just gonna pick one. I'm gonna do A, B, J. Okay, and you're gonna, when you're identifying a lot of different things in a figure, some of these letters get repeated. If you notice, I have the point A in several of my, um, my problems. I have point A here, here, and here, and that's okay. So when you're doing a figure, sometimes you use the points for more than one figure, because it is part of more than one figure. Um, okay, so I added a couple questions here because I wanted us to identify some types of lines too. So, um, the first question is name a perpendicular line. So if you remember a perpendicular line, they cross lines that cross, but also form four right angles. So if you notice here, we have a right angle here, 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 and here. So these, this line and this line both make a perpendicular line. So don't know if you remember, but the symbol for perpendicular is a little upside down T. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first line. I'm going to say line AC, and then there's my symbol, perpendic is perpendicular. And then I'm going to do the other line, which is line PQ. Okay, so that's line AC is perpendicular to line PQ. All right, the next one is name an intersecting line. So if I'm looking, the, this is technically intersecting, but I also have another intersecting line that's not perpendicular. I have line JK and line AC, and they intersect at point B. Now, unfortunately, I don't know why they couldn't think of something. Um, I think they would have thought it looked like a multiplication sign, um, but there's no symbol for intersecting. So we kind of have to write it out. So I'm going to say line AC intersects line oh, is it JK at point B. All right, so that's all I had to do. Um, name the two lines, write the word intersects at point B, and yes, you have to write it out. Um, so there's 
this is one of the main figures you'll kind of see. You might see a more simple figure like this one. So this is figure M. It looks like a shape, doesn't it? And it is a shape, but it's connected by line segments. Any shape you ever see is connected by line segments. So if I want you here to name all the line segments, we have a few. And again, some of my letters are gonna get repeated. So the first line segment that I see can, is T and U. And again, I can write that T-U or U-T. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna say line segment T-U. Um, then I have line segment U-W. I'm gonna have you pause for a second and see if you can find the other two. Okay, so if you identify the other two, you would have noticed that WV is, and you could do VW or WV, so I'm gonna do line segment, I'll do VW. And then the last one would be line segment VT or TV. So those are all the line segments in this figure. And again, see, I've noticed some of the letters are repeated. W is repeated, the U is repeated, the T is repeated. They're all gonna be repeated because they all connect to two different uh, line segments, okay? The last one uh, figure I wanna show you, this figure X here, there's angles in it. Now, I'm only having you name three angles. There's actually more than three angles. And so as a challenge question on your work today, I'm gonna see if you can name all the angles. Um, so, I'm gonna, let's identify three. So, I'm just gonna say one angle, let me get my highlighter out. One angle would be A, B, D. That's kind of the obvious one. It's right there on the side. So we have angle, oops, let me put my red pen. Angle A, B, D. All right, and other angle, I'm gonna do two more because I have three angles I have to, I'm gonna identify, let's see, I'm gonna do D, B, F. Now, even though there's a line between it, I want you to recognize that this can be a whole angle here, from here to here, because it is an angle. So that's kind of, I wanted to kind of give you that hint for your the challenge question. This is an angle itself. Even though there's a line in between it, I can still say that D, B, F is an angle, okay? And then I'll just do another one real quick. Let's see, we'll do F, B, C. Oh, my red pen. F, B, C. So there are more angles than what I'm showing you, but I don't want to give it all to you because you're going to do like this, you're going to do this problem in a challenge question. So I've already given you three of the answers, but there's more than three angles in this figure. So let's see if you can think of how many, come up with how many angles there are. All right, so that's it for this lesson. I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to have you go to your slides and I'm going to have you work on those. Uh, it's going to be in Pear Deck again. So you're going to have the you're gonna be able to write um, using the pen tool. I'll do a video again to show you, but I just want you to be able to write the symbols um, just like they are, okay? All right, goodbye, boys and girls.